if you're interested in seeing how I made the checkpoint box the from sugar. Crash Bandicoot, then keep watching. Now I need sugar. First things first, I get some palings ready. I then trim them to the width that I want. If you don't have a table saw, keep watching up until the end and I will show you a few other ways to go about creating this box without using a table saw. I cut them all to length. Then sand them, first with the 80 grit floppy disk on the angle grinder and then with the 120 grit on the sander. I started with the top and bottom of the box. It's just a simple frame attached from the back sides. Now for the sides and corners of the box. Hold the sides together, then drill a pilot hole, countersink, and chamfer. Then screw it together. I got these 90 degree framing clamps for $15 off of eBay and they came in a set of four. But if you don't have these, you can just use the edge of a chair or table. You could even clamp the top one in place if you needed to. It's starting to come together. The sides get attached to the inside of the frame. Making sure I keep everything square. We pre-drilled and chamfered all the holes along the top. Now it's time for the crosses on the box. I mark centre, then mark two 45 degree angles to that centre point. Mark and drill where you want to attach the crosses. I then gave the entire thing a good sand. For the base, I drilled some pocket holes. This isn't exactly how you use this jig, but I got this pocket hole block really cheap from eBay and I use it all the time. I then attach the base of the box to the sides. The stain I used is water-based New Jarrah because that is what I already had and it kind of looks the part. And I water it down 50-50 to make it last longer. Now to make a template for the checkpoint symbol. I trace something large and circular, and then something small and circular, making sure it was centered. You hang on tight. Hang on tight, thank you. Hello, Bon. Good boy, now move it to this one. Hang on, yep, okay, go. Let me see what that looks like. Mm, maybe. Okay. Looking to see if I need to make any changes. I then trace the template onto some scrap ply. Then cut it out with the jigsaw. I gave them a bit of a sand. One, two, three, four. I bought a sample pot of interior wall paint because I did not want to have to do a thousand coats with kids poster paint. But then I did the border with a thousand coats of red poster paint. I attached the checkpoint symbols with contact adhesive. Thank you. 
I also put some spare drawer handles on the lid so it was easier to open. And that's it! My kids use this Crash Bandicoot box to store their blocks in and it looks nice and tidy in their room. If you want to see some alternative building options then keep watching to the end. If you enjoyed this video or found it somewhat helpful then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't you can give me a thumbs down if you like but either way I hope I see you next time. If you don't have a table saw you can just measure the width of five palings and then measure that distance up the length of the paling. Mark and cut and you have your square. If you have a circular saw then you could mark your width and then run the circular saw along your palings. And if all you have is a rusty old handsaw and times five speed then you can do it this way. When I was younger I could not afford power tools so this is how I would build things. Although I would never have attempted this build unless I had pre-ripped timber from Bunnings or something but it's just too expensive. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.